Cades Cove is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Folks come from all over the world to experience nature and history together in one beautiful valley. Death came to this place in the 1860s, though, tearing one family apart. Today, we tell that story. Hello, folks. I'm Steve Gilley, and this is Stories, A History of Appalachia. Russell Gregory and his wife Susan came to Cades Cove early in the 19th century where they set up a farm at the base of a mountain. On the top of that mountain was a bald or grassy pasture, excellent for grazing cattle during the hot summers. In 1853, Mr. Gregory and three other men bought that bald, which extended along the North Carolina border, and it soon became known to his neighbors as Gregory Bald. There he built a summer house and stayed with his cattle while they grazed on that mountain land. Russell Gregory was a faithful member of the Primitive Baptist Church in Cades Cove. And all was well. Well, at least until the political divisions that arose prior to the Civil War tore the congregation apart. When the war started in 1861, the church suspended services due to those divisions, which even reached the Gregory household. Russell himself was an ardent patriot supporting the Union, and one of his sons, Charles, was just as supportive of the Confederate cause. Charles Gregory soon crossed over into North Carolina and joined Thomas's Legion, a Confederate unit that consisted of Cherokees and other Confederate sympathizers in Western North Carolina. Thomas's Legion would raid Cades Cove quite frequently, using old Cherokee trails through the Smokies. They'd steal livestock, burn buildings, and harass and kill pro-Union members of the community. The residents of Cades Cove took to sending their children up to the mountains to keep watch for the Confederate soldiers. When they were spotted, those children would sound horns as a warning to those down below, who would then scatter and hide in the woods till the raid was over. Well, by 1864, Russell Gregory had had enough of hiding out. The 69-year-old Gregory organized a militia consisting of other older men in Cades Cove. They set a trap for Thomas's legion the next time they came to the cove. They felled a large tree, then took positions behind it. And when the Confederates appeared, the defenders began to fire their long rifles, and soon the rebels were forced to retreat back to North Carolina. They soon returned, though, and what happened next depends on which of three endings that have been told over the years that you believe. The most told tale was that Charles told his compatriots that the first rifle shot was his father's, since he recognized the sound of his rifle, which was named Old Long Tom. He told his commander where his father's house was located, and that night his company returned to that house, dragged his father out into the yard, and shot and killed him on the spot. Another story has it that the Confederates returned early the next morning and caught him trying to run to safety from his son Drury's house. The last story has it that a couple of weeks after the raid, Russell Gregory noticed that a calf was missing from his cattle herd on Gregory Bald. He went to look for it and found Confederate soldiers camped on his land, helping themselves to meat from that calf that they'd butchered and cooked over a campfire. Mr. Gregory ran back to the house to get his rifle and then came back to confront them. Before he could reach them, though, the Confederates shot him. They would have killed him on the spot, but for the commotion, which alerted his family and friends in the house that something was going on, they managed to reach Russell first and got him back to the house where he died later that night. Russell Gregory is buried in the cemetery at the Cades Cove Primitive Baptist Church with this marker. Thanks for watching. Till next we meet, y'all take care. So long, everybody. <laughs>